A survey of the American public done about 50 years ago said the number one healthcare worry of Americans was cancer. This survey was repeated a few years ago, and the number one healthcare concern of Americans is now blindness. Endowed professorships have been around from the days of ancient Rome. What's new about this rising professorship program, it's instead of giving it to the most senior, most distinguished faculty, it's, it's our investment in the best and brightest young people right at the beginnings of their careers. And it's our investment in the future and making things happen at Wilmer much faster than they can happen elsewhere. I'm Nakul Shekhawat. I'm a physician scientist in the cornea division at Wilmer Institute. So I do two types of research. One is using advanced imaging to develop better measurements or biomarkers for corneal infections, which are the uh, leading cause of corneal blindness in the world. And secondly, we use telemedicine and artificial intelligence to expand access to diagnostic algorithms that can detect diseases wherever people are uh, in the world and no matter what kind of disease they have affecting the front of the eye. Our dream is simple but very difficult to achieve. Our dream is a world where nobody needlessly goes blind, no matter who they are or where they live. And what that involves is a really Herculean effort, including by many faculty at Wilmer, to develop the technologies and treatments that can prevent blindness or cure and reverse blindness. And you know, these are things that require immense investment, both in the individual researcher and in the team supporting them. And that, that is exactly what the Rising Professorship provides. We felt we wanted to give back to Wilma. You know, every time you give money to a, any organization, it doesn't mean it's going to save the world. If you can help someone, that's a success. On a personal level, I feel a lot of gratitude that I was able to be part of the Rising Professorship. And also, yes, a sense of pride. Like, I almost sometimes feel like Nicole's my son. You know, I just feel so proud and he's so delightful and he's so intelligent and he's just, he's just brilliant. My name is Cindy Kai. I am a retina specialist at the Wilmer Eye Institute. So I'm a practicing vitreoretinal surgeon. So I see patients in clinic and also do surgeries in the operating room. And in terms of my research, I look at social determinants of health and how they affect diabetic retinopathy care, taking an informatics approach. So seeing if we can use all the data that we have in our electronic health record to see who might need additional resources. I would say I started this work from clinical experience during my fellowship, meeting and seeing patients with diabetes who get really bad diabetic eye disease and ultimately go blind. And it's just so devastating. They're often young, they can't go to work anymore. And when you talk to them, it's not because nobody cares about vision, everyone cares about vision and they want to come back for eye care, but it's all these other aspects of their lives that prevented them from coming back. Because of the rising professorship money, we are able to do the research at a much faster pace, meaning that we're able to get to that hopefully final outcome where we're able to predict patients who aren't able to come back for care and offer them social resources much faster than we otherwise would. From my earliest childhood, my parents, my grandparents taught me that giving is an essential part of our lives. So the idea was, well, where are the next generation of leaders in ophthalmology gonna come from? These days, by the time somebody's offered a chance to be a leader in ophthalmology, they've had to accomplish an awful lot. And that was the idea of the Rising Professorship Program, to identify people who have the potential to be leaders and equip them to become the next generation of leaders in ophthalmology. My name is Tom Johnson. I'm an Associate Professor of Ophthalmology. I'm a glaucoma specialist and a translational neuroscientist. So in the clinic, I treat patients with glaucoma, which is an age-related disease that can cause blindness. And the problem with glaucoma is when it causes vision loss, it's permanent. We have no way of restoring vision that's already been lost. So in the laboratory here, our goal is to use stem cells to actually restore vision after it's been lost. This is something that for a long time, people have said would take decades if it's achievable at all. And in the past five years, we've really made significant headway to get it to the point where we believe that this is feasible and it's just a matter of time. And because of the rising professorship, when this does become available for patients in a clinical trial, that will occur years before it otherwise would have. Dr. Johnson's doing such important work that we are proud to be able to be involved in funding some of that work. The truth is, 
it's not for my generation and it may not even be for the next generation, but at some point, my sister's children and her grandchildren and, you know, I guess everybody has the hope that eventually we'll cure blindness. We shall see. Our generous donors want to be our partners and it's very delightful when they're able to see their rising professor and see them be successful and get promoted and become famous. It's really quite inspiring. So it's exceeded my expectations, our ability to generate these rising professorships and, and then see the recipients blossom.